aircraft are variants. Here come the Dukes of Cassett. Has he got it? Has he got it? No, he hasn't. I think we can safely say at the moment the balloons are winning. Even model makers, 100% aviation people, all members of the LAA. this example in November of 1945, although the fuselage, I'm assured, is pre-1941. It was on the assembly line when Pearl Harbor happened. who may remember the old Wingspan magazine may remember that there was an article, a series of articles by uh, Mr. Brett who did a, a rebuild of this aircraft and a complete detail, Morris Brett rebuilt the aircraft and did a whole series of articles covering this rebuild. 
and there were a decent set of drawings by Alfred Granger at the same time. No, regrettably, no more drawings and no more copies of Wingspan are available, but the beautiful magazine. A typical light aeroplane of the period, um, again side by side seating unlike the uh, Piper Cub and I'm generally told that it is a much more pleasant aircraft to fly than the Piper Cub. As you can see, it's a sprightly performer. Still looking very smart and attractive in that colour scheme that was given when the uh, rebuild was done. Piper also built a two-seater with a side-by-side uh, set-up, um, but this aircraft was more popular and uh, more was sold. It was uh, a similar aircraft was used by the US Army, and it's called the... Uh, the Absolute greaser of a landing. Tail held high, letting it gently sink back onto the ground, stopping as you can see in a very short Thank you. 